Welcome back to my channel, my Concha Cruz, your girl Diane Puro Guanajuato's vlogs. And let me put these on because I can't see for caca. Here we go. Is that better? Nah. We're going to leave them off. We're going to leave them off. This is what it is. Um, if you are just coming across me and you're wondering who I am, I am Diane Puro Guanajuato's vlogs. I'm a vlogger slash foodie. La di da, la da 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 da. And, um, I thought I'd come on and, uh, let's see, have a snack with the Goncha crew, the Gonchas, all the Gonchas report to the house, all the Gonchas, um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's do this right, Diane, let's do this, hi, Winter Moon. How are you, friend? How's everything going? Hi, Jessica. Hi, Uniquely Me. Hi, Lisa. Everyone, as you're coming in, please hit that like button, you guys. Hit that like button. Show your girls some love. Okay, we at Wendy's. Y'all see my title. And I'm hungry. I'm about to play, pray. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, thank you for the blessing. This meal may be nutrition to my body. Provide a warm meal to someone else in need. Dear Heavenly Father, bless the hands that made this door. Dear Lord, thank you again for the blessings and the blessings to come. Dear Lord, protect me from any illness, any evilness, dear Lord, any any type of negativity. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Jessica the Beautiful. Hi. Hi, you guys. I think you guys can see me better, right? All right. We're going we're gonna to get my stuff together. We're going to get my stuff together. I got my ranches. I came over here to try this. Uh, I don't know why I'd be watching these commercials. And I already know my fries are cold as hell. I can already tell they're cold. Wendy's be letting me down. Wendy's letting me down. I'm trying their new queso burger. This is a queso new. It's called new cheese. Guess a burger, I think something. Hey, number one, pool. Hey, Anne Marie. Mm -hmm. My mom's not with me. My mom, my mom's at home. Yep. So these these are. Uh, fries better be delivering like that. I better have guess the minute I bite it. Okay. And to drink, I got me a fruit punch. Let me tell you, Wendy's has my favorite fruit punch ever. Fast uh, fast food place. Hi, Janie. Ready for your review on this. Heard mixed things about it. Yeah, so I'm going to try. I got the queso burger. Let me just get a, a ranch with fry right here. How's everybody doing tonight? I hope everybody's in good spirits. It's been a crazy, crazy um, work week. Okay, so we're going to check this out. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is the queso burger. And are these corn nuts? These are corn nuts. They legit put the picante corn nuts. You know the picante corn nuts? I'm gonna clean my, my camera. I feel like it's dirty. Okay, that's better. Hi, Christine. Hi, Gladys. I was gonna make some onion rings. Oh my goodness. Hey, Jules. Hey, Jojo. Uh, let's see. Where's Ariel? Ariel is at home. Yes, I can't wait to see what Diane thinks about the burger. Okay. So, um, I was on TikTok. I seen everybody trying this Gessel burger. I don't want my stuff to to fall so we're gonna try it, you guys let's let's just get it so here's the queso burger as you can see right there i see like some type of chipotle sauce uh tortilla chips this is a double patty some type of cheese let's just get in i'm gonna, I'm gonna be 100 right here we're gonna keep it 100 here we go Um, let me get one more bite. I need one more bite. 
I need one more bite. There's actual corn nuts in here. They got corn nuts and tortilla chips. And she said chipotle sauce and cheese. But I'm not, I'm not, when I, when I hear queso, I'm not, get, uh, the first bite, I'm not getting that queso. So let me try another bite. I'm not gonna say queso. I won't say that. This is not a queso to me. It's good. It's a good burger. I like the 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 the, the, the chipotle sauce they have in here. The cheese is like a regular, you know, like a like a regular deli cheese. And um, I don't get no queso. I'm not getting no. When you say this is the nacho cheese burger, that's the name of it. The nacho cheese burger. I want to bite and get nacho cheese. I'm not getting that. It is it is delicious though. One to ten so far. I will give this. I'll give it a six. I'll give it a six. You know what I'm saying? But you guys don't fall for the nacho cheese. I didn't get it. When I'm biting this burger, I'm not getting nacho cheese on it. Mm-mm. That's good though. Would I, ha would I tell you to waste your money on this burger? Probably not. Go with the Biggie, the Biggie Mel. They got the Biggie bag. It's like five bucks, six bucks, and it comes with a burger, chicken nuggets, a drink, fries. But it is good. I'm just not getting... I don't get the nacho cheese. I'm going to open it up. I want to see. It's just pure, this is pure uh, chipotle sauce. Where's the cheese at? Did, did they forget it? I don't see any cheese. That's odd. Why would you call it? Yeah, there's, look it, I'll show you guys. I'm not getting any cheese, look it. Look at that. That's just a regular cheese with onions. I don't got any nacho cheese. This is their nacho cheeseburger. That's what I got, though. Hey, sweet Liz. Hey, Laura. Wanda. I love corn nuts, but don't think I want them in a burger. I'm going to be honest with you, Maria. Uh, the corn nuts are too overly salted. So I think that's what's like making my burger really salty is the corn nuts. My fries, I ask for no salt because I don't, I don't like, sometimes they be putting tons of salt on your fries. So every time I get fries, you guys, I ask them no salt. I don't want no salt. How no. But I agree. My favorite from Wendy's is the one with jalapenos. I like the Baconator. That is my favorite burger. If I'm going to recommend a burger, a burger and you've never had Wendy's, the Baconator is my favorite. This nacho cheese is a whole lie. There's no cheese. That's, that's not cheese. That's um, chipotle sauce. Uh-uh. See, that's why I don't like about some of these companies. They be putting these commercials and they make it look all good. Now, when I seen the commercial, it was like nacho cheese. Valio pura verga. Coming over here. All excited to try it. Again. Just you're better off. Going with the value bag. Do you like the corn nuts? Mm -mm. I don't like the corn nuts. I don't, I don't like the corn nuts in it. I don't understand the concept of it. Let me see if there's any more corn nuts. But no corn nuts. Yeah, there's no more. So yeah, I'm sorry, Wendy's. This is a no for me. Like, it's still good and I'm going to eat it. But I'm sorry, Wendy's. This is a no. 
This is no queso. This is pure, it's pure uh, lies. This is just pure um, uh, chipotle cream. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. I should be like that lady that, um, you know, she went and she uh, took Starbucks to court. Because, you know, the Starbucks drinks, they give you that much coffee and that much foam. I should do that with them. Like, you a whole life. You said this was a nacho burger, and I love nacho. I like nachos. I love cheese in general. I was so excited. I seen it all over TikTok. Maybe the person making it just messed up. Maybe. I would try another Wendy's. You know what? I mean, I was so excited because, you know, the nacho cheese thing, but I am sorry no more. What's up, Casey? How's everybody doing? I wanted to go on live more. You know, a lot of people say that I don't go on live so much. So, I'm here. Hi, Josie. Hi, Christine. I got my mom. Um... My mom's not a big eater. She eats very little and she snacks. So I got my mom her food. But I had called her. I'm like, mom, do you want me to go over there? And she's like, no, mija, I'm not really hungry right now. I'll probably eat it later. So. Yeah, one to one 10, this nacho cheese, Wendy burger the new one a six mm -hmm. hey lala what's up enjoy your views on food spirit and genuine right i am so enjoying it still i am enjoying it you know, I was undecided what I wanted to eat. Like, I wanted not, I wanted carne the fries. But a lot of these places out here, their fries, they're not the crinkle. I like the crinkle fries. They have those thin, 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 thin little fries, and they're filled with grease. And I don't like it. It grosses me out. So, and once I find somewhere here in Phoenix that has um crinkle fries, That'll be my spot. I should just make them at home. Hi, Lizzie. Hola, como estas? Estoy bien. How are you? What's everybody doing this weekend? Tomorrow I have to go, um, I have to go get some stuff for my mom's birthday. I have to go, uh, um, go, uh, get her some stuff, you know, for her birthday. <laughs> I think I said that already. I'm like, oh my goodness, I gotta look for my mom. Where's your mom? Is she, yeah. My mom's at home. She's at home. She didn't want to come. I had told her, well, mom, do you want to come? And she's like, no. She's too busy watching her show. My mom is right now. She's barely finding out about this. This happened in Texas. There was this border patrol man. I forgot his name. And he, he's already been trial. He's already been um, given life. And it's, it happened in Texas. And his name was Anthony Burgos or something like that. So he had like a, an affair with, with um, some girl. And they had a baby. Well, he didn't want the baby. So she kept the baby. Long story short, she was going, he was hiding this baby you know, from his wife and everyone. So she had finally went to go hit him up for child support. Well, he didn't like that. So he had told her, I want to see my son. And this is the first time that, you know, he wants to see his son. Long story short, he ends up in that first meeting being a monster. And you know what, you know what goes from there. 
So this thing was on trial. This happened in, again in Texas. He was a border patrol guy. And so my mom, I've already, we were, I was watching it when it was still, when it was still, you know, on trial. So my mom, she actually came across some, some uh, YouTubes of it. And she's over there investigating. She's all in it, you guys. She is all in there. Hi, Christina. I love Arby's. Arby's and Burger King are my mom's favorite. Fun facts. And I was going to go to Arby's too, but I ended up coming here because I want to try this nacho burger. I work all weekend. Mm -hmm. The baby too? Mm-hmm. Yep. The baby was 20 months. Yep. And so that one meeting, I couldn't believe it so sad i can't believe that there's monsters out there like that hey good glenn, uh, glenn hey ken how you doing friend how's your date hola amiga hola vero think this true crime is so addicting but you need to take a mental break right my mom is right now not taking no breaks <laughs> I wake up and I hear the trial, the, the whole, like, you know, the trial. I left right now. I can hear the trial. I go to sleep. I can hear it. T, my brother-in-law had his baby boy while, while cheating on my sister. Uh, did, did he hear my rant? She took him back. You know, I never understand. I, I always feel like uh, once a cheater, always a cheater. That's me. What are your opinions, you guys? Do you guys feel that when someone cheats, okay, once a cheater, always a cheater? Or do you guys feel that, you know, you can forgive a cheater and they change? Comment below. I want to see what people have to say. I believe in once a cheater, always a cheater. That's a broken trust how can how can you bypass that like you cheated on me yes that's addicting Giovanna yes my mom is addicted to that right now oh okay that's sweet my friend sweet my honey says what the hell she took him back I uh, just woke up and it's 3.50 it's 3.50 a.m. and now I'm craving some fries. Good morning. Nope, never changed. What's up, Black Sican God Goddess? How you doing? Haven't seen you in a while, friend. How's things? Welcome everyone. Yes, for sure. A cheater is a cheater. It's allowed, so they won't change. Mm -mm. Once you give a person Want to give a person that first disrespect to disrespect you? You don't think they're going to disrespect you again? I have some friends who they actually feel like how you know how you meet the person is how they're going to leave you. And I have some friends who are like, oh yeah, he's getting a divorce. He loves me. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, girl, he going to leave you just like he's leaving his wife. Mm -mm. If someone ever cheated on me, I would not trust them as far as I could. <laughs> How y'all once a cheater, always, they never change, right? Someone that, that are so good, that always cheats, will always forever, right? I agree. Everyone's pretty much agreeing. I'm not, I'm not crazy, but don't cheat or you'll see my crazy. Mm -mm. My first husband cheated on me and I was done. Never looked back. Like Diane said, once a cheater, always a cheater. Yep, period and point blank. What kind of fruit punch? Oh, this is the high C uh, fruit punch. Wendy's has the best fruit punch. If you like fruit punch, the high C fruit punch at Wendy's out of all fast foods is my favorite. Cheaters will never change. 
respect versus disrespect i'm gonna stay this i'm gonna stay stay the same forgiveness sure why not honestly once a cheater always a cheater i cheated in my 20s but i lived and learned you know what i also cheated in my 20s when i was 20 years old you guys i did you know i did cheat obviously at that time i didn't know like meaning i knew that was wrong but i didn't understand that cheating is not right that's hurting somebody if you don't love somebody don't be with them why are you with them why are you wasting their time that's selfishness because you don't love them so you're gonna go do your have your cake and come back and have your meal that's wrong you know and karma always comes back mm -hmm. i don't play with karma me and karma are not friends me and her do not like each other. I don't like karma and she don't like me. Period. We don't like each other. I don't give a damn. And she ain't welcome here either. Cheaters never change. Um, they're cheating mentally. Right. I agree, Casey. Oh my God. Love that it's been... Love that it's been so long since I had that punch. Winter Moon, that high sea fruit punch is the bomb. Diane, are your doors locked? Yeah, my doors are locked. Mm -hmm. And I'm actually sitting like right in front of the restaurant. So there's like a light. I don't. You guys can't see it because I have my light on. But girl, I'm not sitting in the dark dark at like. There's all these cars coming in and out. So. I don't like to take my, when I eat fast food, maybe it's just me. I don't want to take it home because I feel like it gets cold. But honestly, I do feel bad for anyone that gets cheated on, especially when you are a good person. I agree. Just hopped on. Oh, my God. Have to try Wendy's new loaded nacho cheeseburger. It's bomb. Whew. Chally's. Girl. That's what I have right here. And I'm going to say. I'm disappointed. <laughs> There's no nacho cheese, girl. If you if you watched this from the beginning, maybe it's the person who made my burger, but I thought it was going to be nacho cheese. I'm a big nacho cheese person. Disappointing. Very disappointing. Um, and I didn't like the corn nuts in there. Besides that, I mean, it's a good burger. I like Wendy's burgers. But when you tell me nacho cheese, I'm thinking when I bite in it, it's going to be cheesy. Nacho, nacho cheese. That wasn't. I did like the chipotle sauce in there, though. But, yeah, this is it right here. I came to try it because i seen it a lot on TikTok. And I'm a big nacho cheese person. I love nacho cheese, right? But I'm disappointed. Disappointed. There was no cheese. It was drier than the Sahara Desert. Processed cheese is more cheesy than the cheese in this burger. <laughs> Uh, we do change. We're, we were just young and dumb, right? I agree, Ken. We do change because I was young and dumb. You know, I was young and dumb, but we do change. Because, you know, I was 18, 19. I was out there out and about partying. La, 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 la. I didn't want to be, you know, Netflix at home. What are we going to have for dinner? Okay, let's watch our favorite shows. And then let's go to bed. No, I was like, tap, 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 tap. So, yes, I am no longer ever, like, that's the thing I can say. And I'm going to say it proud. I say this all the time. All those partners i've been with ex partners ex i can proudly say that all those partners i was never the one that cheated i got cheated on right so that's the thing i say this and i'm gonna say this i take loyalty to the fullest you get what i'm saying so what i'm trying to say is as i got older i realized loyalty loyalty is hard to find so when you find someone's loyal, let me tell you, don't let it go for nothing. I always say this, people ask me like, oh, how can I know if she or he's cheating on me? The way you're going to know is grab their phone. Grab that phone. If they run and they ask you questions and they're all nervous and, and, and you know, trying to grab the phone from you, 
You already know. There lies your answer. You ain't got to go up on no TikTok for those people that are on there. This is the people on TikTok. All right, go ahead and set. Okay, all right, for uh, $9.99. I, okay, oh, so you want to know if Marcus is cheating on you. All right, is Marcus cheating on her? If it tangles up, he is cheating on you. Is Marcus cheating on you? All right, let us know. Let us know. He's cheating on you. Yep. Girl, save you the time. Don't I see these people on there and I'm like, boo, no beachy lies. Lying ass motherfuckers. Trying to be over there. All right. Uh-huh. Okay. Yep. Go ahead right now and send it up to my cash app. I'm going to be doing the next reading for $9.99. This is my lowest price ever. And I will do it. Okay. So you want to know if Devante really slept with your cousin. Okay. Did Devante sleep? with her your cousin let us know if it tangles up that is that is yes if it does not that is no it tangled look at that he is sleeping with your cousin right now girl look at that right there Devonte is he is holding on to your cousin's coochie you better get out right now go over to your cousins Devonte is holding on to your cousin girl right now girl Send me another $30, and I'm going to tell you where they at. Yeah, I know. And they be sending the money, tirando la money. Tirando la money, how now? I'm a good detective. I don't need no physics telling me nothing. I can't. Hi, Alvaro. I got checked, uh, cheated on before. Mad times because um, I was religious era because I, I didn't want to have sex. It hurt, but I moved on. You did the best thing, my friend. You did the best thing. You always put yourself first. And that's it. Then that's it. Si no le gustan, pues que no le gustan. Si quiere ser puta, pues que va a ser puta con alguien más. That's it. That is a blocking. God blessed you from that blocking. Don't ever, do not ever put your 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 value low like you know i can't stand when i see people they're like oh my goodness i'm brian you know he loves to go to the gym every day so i'm gonna go to the gym with brian because you know if not he's gonna start looking at other girls let brian go to the motherfucking gym and if brian looks at other bitches bad brian bad let me tell you where it starts off is right here my friends self-love right in here right in here don't be uh-uh no cambias para nada don't change for nothing for no one hi paula i cheated on my boyfriend when i was 18 but you best believe karma can and that's what i said girl i don't play with karma karma came for me hi uh, let's see miss chloe making olivia <laughs> right thirsty people not nothing and yep exactly so true call me now cleo <laughs> maria i didn't see your comment yes let me move my phone hi mara for 49.99 i'll tell you everything you want to know <laughs> i ain't even playing what's your ideal date can my ideal date I'm going to say, um, this is my, my tray that I eat by, um, but I'm holding it. My ideal date is going to be somewhere where you guys can talk. Conversation is essential. I'm not trying to go to the club and talk. Ta, 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 what's up? Uh-huh. What? Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, uh, what? What's your, so what's your favorite movie? No. My ideal date is somewhere, whether it's a nice, you know, very you know low low uh paced restaurant a beach um you know you can't take a date to the movies don't be fucking going to the movies the movies is not an ideal date the whole time you're like this oh yeah it's getting good huh yeah there's no i, I cannot stand don't ever take me to the movies on a date I want to talk. You guys should be able to conversate, you know, get to know each other. How the hell are you going to get to know each other? 
Oh yeah, we gonna yeah, we gonna meet up with my boys over here at the strip club. Like, no. So for me, an ideal date is a very slow-paced romantic setting. Get what I'm saying? Yeah, but Diana, sometimes it's it that's easier said than done. I feel bad for some people to make it that uh, that make the other person too much of a priority. You always have to love you over everything. Lala, I agree with you, my friend, because I say this. There is never no us. I cannot. When you go to therapy, and I've been through therapy because, you know, from my past, you guys always say, you guys feel like in relationships, you guys got, it's, it's just us. No, I am Diane. She is Ariel. We are together. We are a team. I cannot stand when people have to be like, yeah, I'm like, oh, let's go over here. You know, let's go to the segundas. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think Roberto's going to want to go, though. Why does Roberto have to go? Like, if he don't go, you go. Like, you know, I can't stand that stuff. Like, I need some dancing and food for my deal day. <laughs> Hi, Yvette. Yes, therapy has helped me so much. Oh my, yes, I went to I went to um to therapy. I did therapy, you know, and I learned that. I learned it in 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 therapy, you know, that we often think that it's, you know, two of hearts become one. No. This is my heart and that's your heart. No. Like we may hug each other and they beat together against each other, but I don't I don't go with that. Like you know what I'm saying? That's just me. I feel like a lot of people, they tend to just put their partner on a pedestal. On a pedestal. And that's what I'm saying. Like, no. That shouldn't be. There's no pedestal. Yes, yes. Hi, Howard. Hi, Diane. I was married 47 years before my husband passed away. He was in, he was the love of my life and still is. Aww. True love never dies. Two, you are two different individuals. We show sure is. Diane, why are you hiding that food tray like someone about to steal it? Girl, I'm up in the hood. What you guys think? You guys think I live over here in Beverly Hills? Hell to the not, girl. I got to hold this. This right here, my, my protection. This my shield. You know what I'm saying? If stuff starts happening, pop, 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 I'm on. Girl, I got to hold this. I already told y'all, y'all, I don't know why people think, oh my goodness, you're a YouTuber. I don't live in no Beverly Hills, honey. I'm just like everyone. Girl, I am at the, at the Sebunas. I go wash my clothes at the laundromat. I got to eat off the dollar menu because sometimes I can't even afford a combo. Sometimes I can't even go to the dollar menu. I'm like everyone else. And that's what I'll always be. I don't care if I'm a millionaire, five million year, five million dollars. I'm gonna be eating at the taco stands, and I'm gonna still keep it one hundred. Life with. Can I tell life with Lulu? Can I do? You are so funny. <laughs> Oh my god, I was cheated on when my kids were young. That was so hard to deal with. I forgave him the first time. Then I found out about five other women. That's all it takes. Shelly's all it was was that one time that you let this mother disrespect you. And what? The minute you let someone disrespect you, they're going to always disrespect you. I don't give a damn. I don't care. I do not care. Somebody could say, oh, no, I was a cheater, but I'm good. La, la, la. No, you ain't. You a whole lie. That was hilarious. In that case, drive away, girl. I know I'm not going to be on here too long. Because, girl, I'm over here looking all through the side. <laughs> Dan, are you, you're making me laugh. You are so real. I love that about you. Thank you. I, I'm just real. You know what I'm saying? I think back in my life, I felt like I had to, to live up to, to this, like, type of person that I wasn't. You know, I didn't want to show my face because, oh, I didn't have makeup on, all this crap. And then, you know, to get people saying, oh, you don't love yourself. You let yourself go. Callate. No, it's the other way around. I love myself to know that no matter what, if I look a hot mess, I'm beautiful. You don't love yourself because you're the one that is the one that is, is miserable. But that's what I'm saying. I think that's 
Hi, Tracy. I think that's the thing here is, you know, finding yourself and following, fall, falling in love with yourself. You could be looking a hot mess, but I'm going to tell you, I'm going to walk in like I'm a hundred, like I'm a million bucks. Mm hmm. What? You know, and I think that was, that was part of my past is, uh, I used to do black screens where I wouldn't show my face and I would just always be focused on what people said. I don't give a damn what nobody says. I don't care. That's what I'm saying. Life is too short to worry about whoever says whoever. You know how much times in life people are going to have something to say about you? Give them something. Give them something. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I learned and I'll always be that. I'm humble as hell. You should be a comedian. You are so funny. <laughs> solve mystery. Solve mi oh, I love unsolved mysteries. I like Dateline too. Oh, you're no good. I want Dutch Bros. My boo was gonna give me Dutch Bros, but I had told her no. But I can get me some Dutch Bros. I want Dutch Bros. Like you said, bah. I adore the way you look. Uh, adore the way you look at each other smiles genuine through life gets tough amen life is too short it's too short to be bitter it is so short to be bitter you know what i'm saying like love life learn how to forgive forgive whatever hurt you and move on move on why be bitter you know what i'm saying there's probably people right now i know 39 people are not all up in here and i know i got silent watch uh, viewers but i know right now there's people that are watching and they're very bitter and all they're doing is watching with, with hate. So I'm going to pray for you that you that are watching, that God takes out that hate out of you. Because I know that you are miserable. And I hope that one day that you will be able to love yourself enough and let it go. Let it go. Don't hold things. You know what I'm saying? I know people that know. I don't talk to them because la, 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 la. Let it go. Life is too short. Like, no. Do you know in the world we're living? Like, no. Let it go. Let it be. Mmm, Dutch bros. Get some coffee. I know. I want some coffee. There are so many people that have big egos and bougie and fake personality. You know, that's one thing. You got to just be real. Be you and be real. I wish we had Dutch bros where we live. I love Dutch bros. My favorite is, is the, the, um, is it the golden eagle? The Golden Eagle with uh, extra drizzle. That's my favorite. But right now they got this pumpkin caramel one. Pumpkin something. Ooh. And I don't really care for pumpkin spice drinks. But ooh. Dutch Bros got this pumpkin caramel something. I was uh, praying for all of us to, to find real genuine people. That shit is dead these days. Right. Bitter is the worst when, you, when you're in the workplace. Girl, you ain't never lying. I can't. Yep, let it go. Let it go and give it to God. You know, and therapy, you guys, you know, that's one thing that they, they tell you a lot. You got to forgive. And I know we'd be like, no, I am forgiving them. No, no and no. But you got to forgive. Get it off of your chest. Like, let it go. Why sit there with all this stuff on your chest for? For what? Like, let it go. Forgive and let go. Just because you forgive doesn't mean you got to be, you know, uh, uh, the best, you know, with that, with them. Like, just let it go. Release it. Once you release it, woosah, woo, you feel good. Uh-uh. I, I, I can never understand people when they are so bitter and when they got so much hate and so much rabia. It's not worth it. It is not worth it. Facts. Uh-huh. For real. Does it, oh, the Golden Eagle come decaf? Yeah, you can get anything at Dutch Bros decaf. Yeah, you'll tell them decaf. And you can get sugar-free, too. I'm not going to drink this whole thing, by the way. I'm probably going to drink, like, half, and then I'll give it to my mom. Because she likes fruit punch, but... One thing about my mom is you buy her a drink, she, she, she's very, my mom is very poquito, poquito. I forgive, but never forget. Mm -mm. Keep your guards up. Hi, sweet. 
I'm already delusional. I was gonna say hi, sweet king. Yeah, I know you can. You can never forget. I mean, you can forgive and never for, uh, forget. Definitely, that's every right. That's a scar, but let the scar heal. You know what I'm saying? So that you know, as as time goes by, you don't always have to be stung by it. You know, one thing I'll tell you is, you know, me going through many years of therapy that really helped me. It helped me. You know what I'm saying? And and one thing I'm gonna say too is, you know, never judge a book by its cover. Never judge a book by its cover. You know, a lot of people tend to judge because of what they heard and who told them and and what or what. I've always been the person where I'm a, I'm gonna find out for my own self. You can say what you want about this person, but I'm not gonna believe you. I'm gonna find out because I can't stand when people are like, no, nope, mm -mm. nope, no, no. Nope. I don't like her because you know, blah, blah, blah. No, no and no. You know what I'm saying? That's why I say be your own person. Your mom is funny. She had me with... <sighs> Girl, my mom's chingando for Alvaro. And is Alvaro going to be on my live? I got to make sure my hair is done. <laughs> Bitter people, however, might just be the... but uh, However, it might just be the good, guys. Think about it. I've... Um, let me turn this off. I've tried wanting to help you, help you, but you lazy and want the money. You know what really sucks, though? They should make therapy free, like mental health. I agree. Mental health should, should be free. I agree. I like that. I agree with that. Hi, Dawn. Pleasant Friday. Yeah, I do. I agree. Mental health should be free. You know, you shouldn't have to pay for mental health. I, I don't understand, you know, like that's something I'll never understand in general. Like, I feel like medical should be free, too. Like, why do we got to sit here and deal with deductibles, co-payments, all that stuff? Like, it's really sad. You know, there's like, for example, like, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be 100 with you. There's this surgery that I need to get done, but I can't get it done because why? I have a high deductible. So... You know, obviously that's going to take time, you know, and it sucks because, you know what I mean? Like, I wish I, I, I would be able to do that. And I can, I can only imagine a lot of other people who can't get their prescriptions, you know, those that are diabetic and they need to get their, their, you know, their insulin, their metformins, like all that high blood pressure. Like, this is so sad. I agree. Like, you know, we should have free medical. Do you get what I'm saying? And it's just it just it really sucks you know it just really really sucks and you know those that work so hard you know and it's like you barely even making it you barely i'm barely even making it you know what i'm saying like i'm i'm gonna keep a 100. i am barely even making it i'm living like everyone else check to check but you know god if you hear me saying this father i am asking for forgiveness because i'm not saying it that i am not blessed because i am blessed father and please forgive me because I'm, you know, I know I'm saying, you know, that I am uh, check to check, but I'm blessed because I have a roof over my head. I, I'm, I'm in good health still. And I do have, you know, I do. A, I'm able to pay my bills. Better be here on her party. <laughs> I'm like, I hope so. I hope so sad. Free medical like Canada therapy, especially right true true god provides he does medical and dental should be free this government is what makes yep medical and dental should be free i agree like i agree medical dental should be free you know i i hope that you know someday that can happen but it's just so sad hey lily pod how are you friend much love diane you're a good person thank you Pray for me. I will pray. I pray for everyone. All the Concha crew, you guys, every time I pray, I pray for everybody. I always pray. Even when I eat, I pray. When I open my eyes, when you open your eyes for the first time, you better not open your eyes to look at your phone, to who texts you, none of that. When you open your eyes, you need to give God thanks. Thank you, Jesus, for allowing me to open my eyes. Father, thank you for another day of life, for, for me to be able to open my eyes and breathe uh-uh no health insurance but the government has enough to give 
I agree uniquely. I agree. Glad to see you're on. I'm blessed. Amen. That is right. Anyway, a lot for us to be thankful for the, yep. Amen, amen. Yes, Jesus, preach, baby girl. Exactly. That's what I'm saying, you know. When I wake up, I always give thanks. Every time I give thanks. You know, that's just the way life is. We got to be thankful. They put all these dyes in. In our foods, sugars, and all these fast foods are killing us. You don't see that in a... Right. A lot of these are like, you know, my, my uh, cousin lives in Canada. And they don't have no flaming hot. They can't have no hot Cheetos there. Um, there's like certain cereals in Canada. So when she comes here, she's like, you know, she gets her little kick of, of uh, hot Cheetos. But when over there in Canada, you there's no flaming hot. The brand flaming hot Cheetos onion rings whatever there's none in canada they they ban that uh flaming hot stuff laughing my ass off damn we oh wait we have hot cheetos in canada okay wait you do did you guys at one at one point did you guys not have it Uh, are you sure at one point did you guys not have hot cheetos let me see but in canada we have peaches oh okay yeah at one point years ago see yeah okay lala then that's what i meant that's what I remember. At one point, my cousin was like, no, there's no hot Cheetos. And we were tripping out because she had came out here for Christmas time. And this was years ago. And yeah, she was like, no. She's like, we don't have no hot Cheetos. And we're like, hot Cheetos? And she's like, nope, we don't have them. But damn, now they have them? Hi, Vani. Do they put Red 40 and all those dyes in our foods? <sighs> Let me tell you. When you go, when you go to Mexico... Mexico, it's all fresh. The eggs are fresh. They're right there hatched in your backyard. They do everything fresh. Everything, the chicken, all that is fresh. The meat, you know, like uh, my family, they have cows. They have chickens. They have, you know, all that. Fresh eggs. They make fresh cheese. Yeah, that was years ago. People were pissed. Now we have them everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> okay thanks for clarifying that my daughter wants to move to canada but if she does she better pack she better pack my bags too <laughs> but i thought isn't it if we go to canada we can't work there right because you have to be a citizen right canadian citizen because i feel i feel like if you go to canada we would have to be we would have to get citizenship right Uh, you guys we are all plastic breathers you can work you can work in work visa or student visa so what you get like a visa to work I think that's how it is right I don't know why my phone's cutting out hold on Okay. No, ma'am. Get dual citizenship. Yeah, if you are married to someone, they can get you a green card, which makes which takes a few years, but temporarily you can get a work permit. I want to try. You know what? I want to try. Um, I remember back in the days. I don't think she watches me no more. But if you do. Um, we used to call we used to we used to say she was like tweet tweet and she used to do you know mug bangs and uh she lived in canada and um i remember she would like you know like um eat you know some good food and and whatnot and i remember she had those those cat uh they're the canada like the cheeses what are they called cost um poutine she had like poutine something it looked like fries but her name was lati lati loves food i remember her 
such an amazing, amazing, amazing character. You know, her, her caring heart. Um, I used to always be watching in her lives and everything. Yeah, Canadians are the best. Yeah, Lottie. Remember Lottie, Casey? It's too late now. Plastics in the sea everywhere. <sighs> yeah, poutine. Yes, poutine. She, yep, I hope she's doing well. She was a sweetheart. Right. What happened to her? I don't know. I mean, she had her channel and then she took a break and then um, never came back. You know, sometimes people just take breaks. But Lottie, if you're watching, my friend, I hope you're in good spirits and you're good, um, you know, and, and definitely I used to love watching your videos. She would be doing, you know, as well mukbangs and it was just a vibe. She would go live and it was like, like here, like we would just be in here talking, having a good time, cracking up, laughing. Yeah, so that's one thing. Sometimes, you know, those, they'll get into the mukbangs, they'll get into the YouTube and then they kind of just... They like, it's just not for them no more, you know? And I think what's going on right now is right now in the mukbang community is, you know, um, a lot of people are noticing that not a lot of people are interested in, in the eating, you know? I think at one point the eating was a craze. People love to, to live vicariously. People love to watch, you know, people eat, you know, different foods and everything, but but um, yeah, I feel like right now in the whole food and eating community, it's just, and that's with a lot of big content creators I and, and small creators. I feel like it's just, it's different. You know, it's different. People right now are not interested in it. So I appreciate everyone that watches my videos. I love to get on and talk with you guys. And I love to, to you know, do my, my you know, my vlogs and, and my mukbangs. But yeah, it's just change no more it's not as big she did my chopped cheese oh i've been wanting to try chopped cheese you need to be canadian or have a relative who is canadian by blood i believe raining in maryland makes the video better with my window open oh i love the rain a lot of content creators are leaving right a lot of content creators are leaving and i feel like uh you know they're probably figuring it out like you know like for one uh you know it's just i don't know i don't know if it has to do with TikTok. a lot of people like the TikTok right now is the biggest craze the shorter videos you know what i'm saying and i don't know i think it's just like the whole mukbang has just died down like you know if you have your platform they're gonna support you you're gonna get those people that been you know messing with you for years they're gonna the real ones the loyal ones they will support you but i feel like in general you know the whole mukbang community i feel like it's just it's 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 just at a a stands it's at a stands right now Had to wait five years become even an american citizen what really lala oh yes hit that like button no diane i think it's the mental health a lot of people are getting out off socials and everything's going on oh that's yeah that could be it too i know there could be a lot of reasons you know but i just say like i remember back in the days you know it was it was a craze it was crazy it was you know you would see everybody doing mukbangs and everything and it's just it's changed i'm more of a TikTok only because i'm more into polit political stuff now and they talk more about stuff there right yeah so that's another thing too is you know TikTok's more open on what you can talk about and what you can do but some people you know they won't like i said some people they uh love the channel but gotta go bye ken bye my friend you found a friend in me have few favorites on youtube oh thank you thank you uniquely me i appreciate everyone i do you know that's why i love to get on and i love the the friendships that i've built you know on this platform but you know um for me i don't know i hope that one day you know uh one day i can hit my my uh my moment <laughs> my moment my moment i would love to is to continue to grow my channel i would love to be able you know and and one day to be able to collab with mark weens 
Mark Weens for me is a legend, you know? Um, just like B-Love is a legend to mukbangers. For me, Mark Weens, I would love to. And I, I really feel that my day will come. You will. Thank you, friend. Yeah, that's what I said. I, I that all That's all going to come with time. But yeah, I appreciate all the love and the support. And my mom's excited. I'm going to head back home now, you know. And um, I just wanted to get on and chitter chat with everyone. I'm trying to go on live more. A lot of you guys kept on saying that, you know, come on live more. So I'll be coming on live more, you guys. I really appreciate you guys. Um, but yes, I will uh, definitely see you guys on the next one. Keep your notifications on. Have a good night. Stay safe, you guys. I'll pray for everyone. Good night. Adios. Good night, you guys.